Hey, Gordon. Yeah, I'm on that job with those Collingwood fittings, the Cayman Versas, but you never told me where I was supposed to be fitting them. Right, well, remember when you told us how much you love dark, dingy and enclosed spaces full of cobwebs and damp? No, I, I don't remember that. No, you did, and that's why I've hooked you up with this great location. You're fitting two of the Cayman Versas in the boiler room, and just make sure you do a thorough review of the fittings. Right, OK, thanks. And, oh, Joe. Yeah? Don't let the spiders get to you. Bye. Wait a minute, I'm not scared of spiders. <laughs> you know, I'm glad I'm here fitting these Cayman Versa fittings from Collingwood in this dingy boiler house, because it means I get to show you some of the cool features and benefits of this vapor-proof fitting. So let's have a look at the job. So we're replacing this fitting here, which has failed, probably because it's letting a lot of water, but also the fitting has failed and come away from the conduit box. And I'm going to be using this six foot Cayman Versa vapor proof fitting in its place. We're also going to be replacing this bulkhead for the Cayman Versa four foot fitting as well. First things first though, let's safely isolate. So let's get started with this four foot Cayman Versa vapor proof fitting. Out of the box, it could be mistaken for every other corrosion and vapor proof fitting on the market. But this one does have some interesting features that's supposed to make the life of the installer a little easier. So all your fixtures and fittings come in this separate box. And I know that seems trivial, but let me give you this scenario. You go to the wholesalers, you collect your fitting, and the fitting kit, which is normally in the bag, is not in there. It happens. At least with this one, I know the fixing kit is in there as the fitting will slide about if it's not. Plus, it keeps all the fixings in one place. And speaking about sliding, these are brackets which click into the base of the fitting here and can slide up and down to your desired position. This is really useful and be sure to hang on till later in the video and I'll be showing you how useful it is. So I'm going to fit an end box here in the ceiling to mount the bracket on so I can clip it up mark my cable entry point and drill and refix it. The fitting comes off the bracket really easily with this flared part of the bracket here so I can get my flathead screwdriver in it. And there's loads of entry points on here which makes it flexible for any job that I might be doing. I can clip up the tray with these clips here. The push fit connectors are removable and you have three locations to put them depending on your cable entry positions. This may seem like a small touch but actually I quite like this. The cables are contained in this rubber tubing which keeps them all together and gives me great confidence that when I stick the lid back on, I'm not going to have a wayward cable poking out. So I've got to this point and something struck me. I've not needed to scrabble around on the floor looking for the clips because they always drop out and they've all stayed in the open position to make it even easier for me to get the lid back on. For me, it's the small things and the fact each clip, and there is 10 of them, is still in there and in the open position is just great. Well, let's see if the six foot fitting goes in any easier. So as before, this was really easy to do. Once the old fitting had been removed, I was able to bang up the new fitting in no time at all. Collingwood have really thought about the installer experience here. Fast, convenient and flexible. And they kick out some really good light. In fact, we have this dip switch here on the driver where you can change the power output from twin to single fitting, depending on the location. You also have this sliding switch which can alter the colour temperature of the LEDs and I think a nice daylight colour is perfect for this boiler room. So that's it, job done. Time to get to my neck. Right, okay. Hmm. Well, as quick as it was to fit that four foot fitting, I've now got to swap that out for an emergency fitting. Or do I? Right, so safe isolation again as I want to go home tonight and see my kids. So we can drop the fit in and unplug it from the incoming supply. And I'm going to take the tray over here and work on it because the diffuser is flat and it's easy to work on and it doesn't rock about. Fortunately, installing a permanent line was easy as it was all in conduit. And I'm going to be using the manual test battery kit from Collingwood Lighting, but they also have a Dali emergency lighting kit and self-test kit. So they're covering all bases. The emergency pack simply clicks into the tray and the plug and play arrangement could not be easier. The clips retain the cable so they won't foul the lid when I stick it back up. And this button here allows you to test the battery unit, which is pretty handy. Plug back in and clip back up for what would have otherwise been an annoyance having to replace the whole fitting has been nothing more than a five minute delay. And that is honestly how long it took. 
Okay, so I'm off to my next job now where I'm going to be fitting two of the five foot Cayman Versa fittings in a double garage. So let's hope that job is as easy as this one. Ah, first tier of the day, this one, but no time to chat. I've got two fittings to replace with these Cayman Versas. And if you're wondering why this one says QC, you'll find that out in just a moment. This should be another nice job with the Cayman Versa. First though, let's make sure the supply is dead. I can line up and fit the brackets on the joists ready for the fittings. And I can clip the fitting into the brackets. And if you remember from earlier when I said about sliding, well these brackets can slide the full length of the fitting, meaning once I've clipped it in, I can slide it into the desired position and make sure the fitting is perfectly centered. So now let's think about the wiring. The connections are on either end of the fitting. I don't even need to take the tray out. It's that easy to connect up. At either end of the fitting, I have these plug-in connectors. That's because this is the Collingwood Quick Connect Cayman Versa fitting. I can simply connect one end of the fitting as normal and come out of this end to go to the next fitting. I can really see a benefit to this, certainly if you are wiring loads of these in somewhere like a multi-storey car park. So before I finish this job, I'm gonna fit the microwave sensor in the tray. And again, with the plug and play features of the Cayman Versa, it clicks into the tray, plugs in, and that's it. We can configure the controls for the microwave sensor using the dip switch here, but we also have a remote control so the customer can also set it to their desired setting. And Colin would have a massive range of add-on products so you can personalize your fittings to your customer's specifications, and they're installed really easily. So that's the end of this job, and it went really, really well, but I'm gonna leave before Gordon gives me another ring to put me onto another job. But what about those Cayman Versa fittings from Collingwood? I was really impressed, certainly with how quickly and easily I could install them and the available options and customizations I can do as well. It's a tough cookie. With an impact rating of IK10 and a rating of IP66, this fitting can just about go anywhere and hold its own. So be sure to check out the range of Cayman Versa vapor-proof light fittings and accessories either online or at your local wholesaler. I've left links in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. And be sure to check out the video we did on the H2Sense downlighter from Collingwood. It should be on screen right now.